problem solving method. So we were thinking about to put it like this is like zero, starting point. Always when you are in some difficult, problematic situation, um, challenging situation, always start with the question, what in this situation is under my control? Because you can recall on how many situations happened that you felt really stressed, but you were not even thinking about, is this under my control? It's totally out of my control. Because sometimes lots of energy, uh, we, we lose lots of energy because we are stressed of the things that we are not even <laughs> able to control or even influence. So the first step is to define the problem. What does this mean? That means that, okay, think about facts. Not the feelings, but facts. What happened in this situation? What is the problematic? What is the challenging? What is difficult in this situation? Okay? The second, the second step is to try to see this problem from a different angle, from a different perspective. For example, what if I see this problem on TV as a scenario in film? Or what if this situation happened to my friend and now I see it from a totally different perspective? Will I find something different? Is, there, is this angle giving me any additional information? Maybe something objective? Uh, okay, third step. Which outcome do I, or we included in this problematic situation, want? So what is our goal uh, at the end of the situation? How we want this situation to, to, uh, to resolve? What is our goal? What is desirable outcome? Okay. And now, one of the most important steps. What solutions do we, or I, have to solve this problem? And now, this is a brainstorm. For example, if you have some problematic situation in your team, you do it all together as a brainstorm activity. If you have some personal issue, personal problem, and you want to resolve it by yourself, you do your own brainstorm in a way to search for alternatives and uh, uh, different solutions. Okay, now, when you find multiple solutions, two, three, six different solutions, now you evaluate them in a way that you see, okay, what are the pluses and minuses for each of the solution I chose? Uh, I, I uh, uh, put on a paper or I thought about. By doing this, what do you think you will, you will uh, gain? By evaluating your solutions, what do you think you will... You will Which is the best one? Based on what? On the, on the evaluation. And the more, the, the more pluses one solution has, the less minuses, the, the more approachable, uh, the more uh, acceptable is for me, but also the intensity or the value of the plus and minus of each solution. You understand this? Do you have any questions regarding uh, evaluation? So, for example, you will have one, you will have two solutions, for example, for a specific situation, and then you say, okay. For this solution, what are the good points about it? What are the pluses? But what can be minus? And the second one, you do the same. And then you see, then you compare which of these solutions has more pluses, but also uh, less vulnerable <laughs> minuses, less painful uh, minuses. Okay? Uh, then, based on this, you select. You select and say, okay, we or I, I choose this solution so for this situation, for this problem. And then 
you know, this uh, sometimes can be scary or because, because anyway we are in a, in a stressful situation, in a specific, and then uh, we had, you know, uh, we, we worked and thought about the solutions and now it's the important thing, now we need to apply. We now need to test the solution we chose. To test in a real situation, in a situation that we want to solve. The eighth step is just in case if it's necessary. Sometimes you will be able to solve the problem with the seventh step and you already test your solution and the solution worked well and you solved the problem. But sometimes you need to go back to here, to step four, to think about is there any other solution or which of these second rated solutions can I try? So this is the process, you know, uh, by, by applying this process, this method to any challenging, difficult, stressful uh, uh, situ problem situation, you can, you can be closer to, to resolution. And especially, you know, when you work in a team, either as a, a coaching staff or a team sport or uh, any, any work, you know, uh, your everyday work uh, as a team member, you, this can be really helpful for any uh, problematic situation. Because we use this a lot with our clients, with athletes and also with, co with coaches. We, we use this when we speak about, for example, someone approaches Okay, I have a problem with, uh, I don't know, uh, my coach. Okay, then two people are involved. But sometimes this coach does not have a clue that that athlete spoke with us. So now we need to, uh, uh, let's say, um, give athlete a tool how to approach the coach to resolve this situation.